Who's ready for a good old fashioned clean with me? Let's declutter some closets full of junk, make our beds, wash our sheets, all those things. Let's get going. Hi, it's me from the future. I just wanna let you know that um, during a lot of this vlog, you'll hear sound effects in the background. I didn't think they'd be picked up by the camera. I was wrong. What it is is Austin playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, so it sounds like people screaming, but it's because it's a theme park video game. I apologize in advance. Bear with me. Um, hope you enjoy the vlog anyways. Hi guys, it is Saturday, and today is like the first real weekend. It's really feeling like spring out. The weather is just divine today. I don't know what it is, but there's always that first weekend where the air just feels different. Like it could be just as warm or as cold as it was before, but it feels like spring. I don't know what that thing is, but I live for that and I'm feeling it today and it's really good. So I have all the windows open, which is like a first for this year, I guess. And the fresh air is so lovely and it's got me in the spirit to do some spring cleaning. I'm making some changes around my living room which will be in an upcoming video. So that's exciting. And so I'm doing changes there. It's making me want to like change, not everything, but like freshen everything up, give everything a clean, like kind of redecorate a little bit. Um, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. And actually, this is kind of a part two to a vlog I did a while ago where I cleaned out my drawers, um, my like junk drawers. And you guys really enjoyed that video and you wanted to see more of it. And then in that video, I talked about a closet and I was like, oh, I don't have time for it. I'll just do it later off camera. And spoiler, I never did it. <laughs> oh my God, it's just as bad. It's a total disaster. Because I didn't do it right away, I thought, oh, I'll just save it and do it in another video. And it's been a while and I haven't done it. So the fact that I'm filming this vlog is really motivating me to actually clean this because it doubles as content, am I right? <laughs> Speaking of the video I'm doing in the living room and whatnot, um, one of the DIYs I'm gonna be doing actually involves this corner and this closet, so I do need to clean this out actually on a timeline because I need this space to be like more workable than it is now. So we really have to clean it out, clean it up today, and just fix it, because it's bad. Oh, someone's calling me. Be right back. Okay, before we tackle that, because I know that will be a really big project, there's one area I wanna start in first get that going and then we'll come we'll come back here okay we're upstairs because i desperately need to do a load of laundry and just in general clean up this room um and with that load throw in my old bed sheets and in place of the old sheets i'm so excited to put on my brand new brooklinen sheets they are the sponsor of today's vlog and i am so excited for fresh bed sheets there's like very few things in life that get me this thrilled and clean crisp bed sheets are one of them okay real talk you guys know I have a dog but honestly as much as we love him so much it makes it really hard to keep anything really clean and white throughout my house because his little feet just get on everything so I've decided there's one area in my house that I get to like go ham on on the white and that is my bed because he never comes up here during the day so this is where I get to have all my clean bright white things so all my bedding is like a really nice cream color and that's what I've ordered from Brooklyn and is the cream set and I was looking to get new sheets and a lot of them were so expensive so I was really excited to see that Brooklyn and had really good reviews like the quality is really good but the price is actually pretty reasonable and they do this by cutting out the middleman meaning that you're buying the products directly from them which saves you money in the end so right now they are having a birthday sale it's running from April 27th to May 5th and if you click the link in the description you're gonna get 20% off all Brooklyn and products. So if you've been wanting to try it, wanting to fresh up your bedding, go check it out. So let's get this box open, freshen up this bed, and put these new sheets on. I'm so excited, guys. All right, you guys. I got the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle, which means it comes with pillowcases, duvet cover, and sheets for your bed. And like I said, I got it in this cream color, which I really like. But, but there are over 25 other colors and patterns you can choose from, and you don't have to get the same one for each. Part. like you can get a different one for the sheets versus the duvet I just wanted to get them all the same for this one but yeah do you think do what matches your room and by getting it all together in this bundle I saved 25% more than if I were to buy like each little piece on its own 
individually. So I don't know if you guys know, but you spend about a third of your life in your sheets. So that's why I think it's pretty important to invest in ones that you really love and are gonna make you so comfortable. I also love that these Brooklyn and sheets are not only really comfy, but they look super nice too. And for me, making my home beautiful is definitely a form of self-care and these sheets are definitely a part of that today. So the Brooklyn and Classic and Lux Hardcore bundles can cost between $200 and $250 depending on the size of your bed and other luxury sheet sets can be up to $400. So better deal if you ask me. Side note, I also love pillowcases that come with this part, this flappy on the side that you can stick your pillow inside of, like so. That way your pillow doesn't like slide out the end. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I do, and this is the best kind of case to get for that. Woo! Okay, bed is assembled. That's one thing off the checklist. I do need to finish cleaning up the rest of this space. Hopefully you couldn't notice. We'll probably get to that later, but it does feel good to get this done already. And I can already tell these sheets are gonna be so nice. I got them in the sateen, which is a bit a more of a tighter woven, um, a buttery soft material versus the classic sheet sets they have, which come in per kale. Um, I can already tell I'm gonna love it, but I will sleep on this tonight and report back to you tomorrow um, for my final thoughts. But let's get back to cleaning. Okay, this is the closet in question. Um, <laughs> The only things that really like need to be in here is this is a filing cabinet of like important documents and then I keep the cleaning things in here so like the broom and the vacuum which is not here but it should be there and I kind of have like extra plant pots and stuff up there nothing really needs to be in here besides cleaning stuff and that filing cabinet so let's organize this a little better the biggest thing is that I just need this door to close and right now it doesn't because there's too much in the way Okay, I think I'm just gonna take everything out and put it on this table here, and then only the essential stuff will go back in. A big thing that takes up a lot of extra space is like fabric from DIY projects. So I really need to sort this, sort this and just say if it's worth keeping or not. Like this is a whole bag of fabric. <laughs> I don't I couldn't even tell you what I was gonna make with this. It's like fake cow print. I don't know why I have this or what the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, fabric I found at the thrift store a long time ago and it was one of the coolest things I found but then I never ended up doing anything with it. It is like this kind of mesh but it has stars and planets and like gold space things all over it. And I still think it's really cool, I just don't know what to do with it so give me your ideas below. have all my old high school yearbooks in here which obviously I'm keeping. I'll show you an old picture. This is me, this is grade nine me. Can, wait, editors just blur other people's faces. I know it's annoying, but like, hello. 13 year old me, 14 year old me, how old are you in grade nine? I don't know. That's fun, very fun. This is funny too, this is a magazine I've held on to for a long time because it's really fun. It's um, People Magazine, like child stars that I grew up with then and now and this is really funny because Drew Barrymore, child on this, where is she now? She has a talk show and I was on it. <laughs> That's a weird full circle thing. Yeah, it's just like different pages of child stars and like what they ended up doing later in life. This movie, you remember Monkey Trouble? Did you watch that movie, Austin? Dora Burge. I remember I got this movie in a box of cereal when they used to give DVDs out in cereal boxes. I watched it so many times. Good movie. Something also I don't think I ever showed you guys was we got an, an album made after our wedding and this is it. It's so beautiful. It has like the nicest really matte pages. Yeah, and I've just kind of like, I don't, it's really nice so I don't know where to put it. I don't want to have it out and have it get dirty. So it's just been in the closet, but that's also kind of, you know, sad too. <laughs> oh, look at this photo. Aww. So sweet. Our photographer was amazing. And this book is so beautiful. But uh, yeah, it's, been, it's something else that's been in the closet. This, I think I laughed out loud in the last video. Someone saw this and asked me what this is. They're like, what is this ancient torture device pillow you have in your closet? <laughs> I'll show you what it is. This thing is called the prana mat, although this is the pillow. This here is the full prana mat. I have chronic shoulder pain and I was recommended this once upon a time by someone and that was like at a 
period where I was desperate to try anything, so I ordered one. And it was really expensive. I don't know if it fully works, but it feels nice, so it must be doing something. And as you can see, there's all these little spiky little bits all over it, hence why it looks like a torture tool. But when you lie on it and your weight is fully displaced, it is not painful, like individually. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty sharp, but when you're like evenly displaced over it, it's not that painful at all. And the idea is it's supposed to give you like an acupuncture-like experience. It's obviously not the same thing as real acupuncture, but I've used it a couple times. It does feel nice. It's especially nice to just put your feet on it um, at the end of the day when you're sitting on the couch or something. Let me show you me using it. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> I think the idea kind of is that you're supposed to do it without a shirt on too, so your skin's fully touching it. Hold on. Not painful when you're lying, it, lying on it like this. Actually, feels pretty good. I'm gonna take a quick nap. And then we'll get back to cleaning. <laughs> okay, we are getting somewhere. Um, this is the leftover piece of the vintage wallpaper I put up in my staircase downstairs. I don't know, I thought I would do something with it. I don't think I will, so I think this is garbage at this point. This is a giant box of like actual printed photos. Look at this one of Austin. From a disposable camera. Um, this is cute. I don't know what year this is from. This is from 2002. Me rock climbing at like a rock climbing place. Look at those hair clips. Those hair clips are definitely back in style now. So trendy. Who is she? This was something I got made after our honeymoon. We went to California and did a road trip. And it's um, from this company, Chatbooks. And I just took all the photos that we took on that trip and like got them made into a book, which this is so much easier to hold on to, just like one little square book like this than like all these actual printed photos. And I do think there is something to be said about like having a physical copy of pictures because I was even thinking this the other day when that challenge going around on Instagram and it was like, show me a picture of whatever and you would like type in the keyword. I don't have like hardly any candid photos of moments anymore because I just don't take them. I'm only taking like pictures, like posed pictures for Instagram and then that's it. And you really miss out on stuff like this because in 10 years, it's like, do you have photos to look back on? So I'm trying to take more just random photos that don't make it on social media, just like random candid photos. And then maybe I can do more of this, like get them printed into little books like this. So you just have them to look back on. What do you guys do? Do you guys get pictures printed? Okay, this is from when we were on um, Kiki, Strahan, and Sarah. And we were doing... Um, but we were recreating my wedding invitations on the show to teach people how to DIY their own. So we had to make up like fake ones and we did Kiki Palmer marrying Leo DiCaprio. So I have this version of it and I think what's actually really funny is I think I have this but I don't even think I have a copy of my own wedding invitations. I sent them out to everyone and then just like didn't keep one for myself. So the closest thing to a memory of my own is the one we made for Kiki and Leo. Which is great, I will hold on to this. I don't know if you guys remember, this is like one of the oldest DIYs on our channel. We did like a memory box picture frame to keep like all your memories for tickets and stuff. And I had that basically with me this entire time until just in the winter I needed that picture frame to make something else. So I took everything out of it and put it in this big bag. I do want to put it back in a frame because I like that idea a lot. That just might be later project so for right now it's in this Ikea bag. The wedding invitation is gonna go in here and this is full of just like I don't keep everything I know this closet is making me look like I am a hoarder I swear I'm not. This is a concert ticket from when I went to see the killers. This is <laughs> a sticker that's all stuck together but it's basically when I got to go backstage at Arcade Fire which was very cool which I do want to keep <laughs> so I found an old Polaroid camera that I totally forgot I had. And I wonder if it has any film in it. I need a cute background. This is stressing me out. Okay. Ready? My number did not go down. Oh my god. Did you see that? I just got flashed big time. <laughs> just didn't push that one out. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold your horses. Okay, I don't know. 
I just did some research because it was bothering me that there was like obviously film in the camera that wasn't working. And I learned the craziest thing. Um, I assumed that the battery on the camera was maybe dead. And I just found out these things don't even take batteries. There's actually a battery inside the film pack. So you don't need to charge your camera. Every time you put a new thing of film in, there's like a little battery in the pack that connects to the camera. It is blowing my mind. That's so crazy how like simple old technology was, but also so clever. Suffice that to say, I think that film pack is just very old. And so the battery that was in it is dead, which is too bad because then that film is no good. I mean, let's be honest, I opened it and exposed it to the sun, so it was no good anyway. Very cool, kind of has me wanting to order more film now because I appreciate this so much more. There was some older electronics in there that I do want to hold on to. I'm just collecting them in a box and I think I'm just going to put them in a better place in the basement. We're making systems that work for us. Okay, the biggest tip I have for plant people that maybe are struggling to keep plants alive is use these bottom trays. I know they're not that cute and they don't look as good with like nice pots like this. This one is very cute. I still have a plant for it right now, but it's such an easy way to guarantee that your plants don't get overwatered. Yes, you can put stones for drainage. It's just like so much harder. This is what saved so many of my plants. So that's why I have a bunch of these because I, I swear by them. You can spray paint them so they match your pots better. I've done that before in the past too, but just having a place for water to go that can evaporate on its own, hot tip. All right, are you guys ready to see how good it looks? I don't think I've ever seen it this empty since we moved in. And I don't mind having things in here as long as they just like have like a place to go and a reason. So this top shelf is extra plant pots and like a few extra decor things. This is books and that one bag of <laughs> sentimental items. And then this basket is now all the extra fabric I decided to keep sewing box and actual sewing machine on this shelf. And then the bottom is just the filing cabinet, which I realized I could turn on its side and I can still access it just as easily if it were facing the front, which now it takes up a lot less space being like that. The broom and the mop now fit in here so much better. And then the little vacuum here on the side. Okay, but check this out. Such a satisfying noise, <laughs> how well it closes and I'm not like shoving things in there. Wow. Job well done. Okay, everybody, it is the next day and I just wanna report in on how my first night sleeping on the Brooklyn and Sheets was. It was very, very nice. Um, we had the window open, which brought in all this fresh air, which is my favorite when the air is like a little bit cold, but then your sheets are all nice and warm. It's, it's like the perfect combo. <laughs> so yeah, these were very comfy, very soft, kept me warm all night. Um, loved it thumbs up rating but I didn't get to actually styling the bed and like properly making it look it's most perfect yesterday so we're gonna do that today clean up the room style the bed get this place together so okay let's start let's start with just doing some cleanup of the floor <laughs> guys I'm really uh, proud of myself because I was worried when I brought this chair in that this would just become like the proverbial laundry chair that clothes just get thrown on but I've been good about it there's really only one sweater on here. There's also a charcuterie board chilling on here because one weekend, a couple weekends ago, Austin brought me back breakfast in bed, which was so nice. It was served on this, but this has just stayed up here ever since. Time to go back to the kitchen, I think. You guys want to see what I keep on my nightstand since I need to clean it out <laughs> anyways? Um, since I've already shown you what's in my junk drawers and now my junk closet, we might as well keep exploring so we can get to know each other a little better. Cork cup holder from Ikea. Uh, this should be on it because I want to protect this wood and not ruin it with um, cup rings. This is like my DIY water bottle setup. I kind of invented this, but not really. It's just a glass mason jar with the lid that has a spot for a straw and then I put a glass straw in it, which together makes the best reusable water bottle because I was using the plastic ones and they would kind of just get gross over time. They were hard to clean. I only like the glass straws because I can see that there's nothing in them. The silver ones always make me nervous that there's just like a ton of mold in them even though I know it's not likely, I just think there is. And I keep this around because if I have it, I will drink it. It's empty, I need to fill it. Hand cream. So this one here actually was my favorite for the longest time. It's from the body shop, it's their hemp one. 
hardworking hand protector but I have literally squeezed like the last little life out of this this lasted me so long and it was so good so I need to buy another one in the meantime I've replaced it with this Nivea care that I already had it's not as good but it'll do in the meantime this is my favorite lip balm it's a little expensive so I just keep it here only for nighttime I don't take it anywhere or I will lose it it's the Laneige Laneige lip sleeping mask in mint cocoa it's like pepperminty and it's so thick and creamy and it's just the best put it on at night and you wake up feeling great one of these is headphones which shouldn't really be here um, this is the cord for my diffuser which is this Vitruvi one which is really nice this is the cord for it I need to set it back up another random ring this is a Fitbit watch which is dead I need to charge it and this is a phone charger some nail files just nice to have around when you need them a lighter for the candles we have here and then this is such a good room spray am I gonna say this right it's by Cardea Oset <laughs> and it's the calm mood mist and so I don't know exactly what flavor this is all I know is that I like it oh my god yeah it's like lavendery and something else that I can't put my finger on but if you smelt it you would know it <laughs> Yeah, this stuff is so good. Spray this on your pillow, you will have a wonderful sleep. So this is like the stuff that kind of stays here all the time because I use these things like every single night. We're doing good, guys. We're making progress. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you something that I only do when I'm feeling extra and today is that day. I just, I feel like giving myself the hotel experience and that is to steam slash iron my sheets. This is definitely not something that's necessary every time you wash your sheets. It's not something I do every time I wash my sheets because that's it's just it's extra but on some days you want to be extra and that's today all right check this out this is the right side that I have not steamed yet so the before and then this is the after so silky smooth I swear it's these little things that really make a difference guys <laughs> All right, you guys, we did it. It's so clean in here and fresh, and I'm just like, if I had a hotel, this is exactly how it would look. This looks so relaxing, yet still all the things I like, which is like terracotta um, and warm textures going on here. I wish you guys were here to see it in person because I feel like it's just not coming across as absolutely beautiful um, on camera as it is in real life. We have the windows open, the breeze is blowing through the white curtains, which these are a DIY. I will link them below. My God, I, it's the middle of the day and I, I am so tempted to take a nap in this right now because it's calling me, guys. <laughs> and before I leave you guys, I just wanted to remind you one more time that all this bedding I showed you is on sale today until May 5th. So make sure you click the link in the description to get 20% off all of the Brooklyn and products. Go check these out. Use the link below. Get your 20% off because I want you guys to all have such amazing sleeps. It's worth it. I had a great one last night. I'm going to have a great one tonight. I'm so sure. So go check it out. And thank you again to Brooklyn for sponsoring this vlog. There is going to be more vlogs coming kind of sporadically but I do have some fun things planned so I although I can't promise you when they are coming so please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss them more home updates since I am now working from home for the next little bit there's definitely gonna be more stuff from my home coming so thanks so much guys and I will see you next time bye